Caitlin, and I hope that you guys have had a great week. I know some of you have been off school, some of you are doing school online, um, and some of you uh, might be doing something else that I am not aware of, but I know it hasn't been a normal week for a lot of you in many ways. And I'm sorry that we don't get to be together at church today, but I'm still really excited uh, that we can have our CCF Kids time and that you guys can keep learning about the story of Abraham, ultimately the story of God in our world, and why we need Jesus. So I want to remind you guys that last week we learned all about what happened to Sarah and Abraham when they tried to do things their own way. Remember it created a huge mess. Abraham decided to wait and do things God's way after seeing all the problems that occurred from trying to do things their own way. Sarah at this point in our story is still working on trusting God. But before we jump back in, Let's review our rules. And our rules are a little bit different since we're at home, but we still want to remember to be a pilot. So P, be prepared to learn. I, I want you to still be involved in joining in. Even though you're at home, you can still participate as we go through the different parts of our fun CCF Kids time. L, be loving to everyone in class. Okay, we're not in class, and I get that, but maybe you could send somebody a message this week from class. Maybe you could say um, that you're missing them. Maybe you can think of a way to bless somebody when we get back together next week. Oh, we need to be open to God by worshiping Him and responding to His Word. You don't have to be in class to do that. You can do that right where you are, in your bedroom, in your living room, at your house, somewhere else. Wherever you are, you can be open to hearing what God wants you to learn. And lastly, T, be a team player by being kind to one another and helping each other out. Okay, that might not be the other kids in the class right now, unless you have a brother or sister who comes to class with you. But maybe that's your mom or your dad or somebody else in your home. Can, what can you do today to be kind to them and to help them out, to be a team player at your house? Okay, guys, our Bible verse for this week is this. It's Matthew 19:26. So I'm going to read it, and I'm going to trust that you are doing I, from Pilot, being involved in joining in, and that you will read it with me at your house. Okay. Jesus looked at them intently and said, Humanly speaking, it is impossible, but with God, everything is possible. Matthew 19, 26. Jesus said this in regards to somebody who said he wanted to follow the Lord, but really wasn't ready to give up his own desires, his own things, in order to follow God. And Jesus' disciples were like, well, if this man who's rich and powerful can't do it, then what hope do we have? And Jesus said, look, yeah, humanly speaking, it's impossible because, guys, we want what we want, and we tend to do what we feel. That's what happens with our human nature. But with God... Everything is possible. We can surrender those things to him, and we can choose to do things his way, just like Abraham and Sarah learned as well. So let's say this together again. Jesus looked at them intently and said, Humanly speaking, it is impossible. But with God, everything is possible. Matthew 19, 26. Okay, I have a special game for you guys because we can't do our normal Bible verse games. So instead, if you'll get one of your parents or someone in your house to record you saying this week's Bible verse and they'll send it to me, then I will give you an extra prize on Sunday, okay? So you can pause or you can do it at the end, but send me those Bible verses. I can't wait to see you doing them. Today we are not going to have a worship song, and that's because YouTube tends to shut down the song and and make it mute um, in case it's copyrighted, and we don't want to break any rules. But I would definitely encourage you guys to look up some music, sing to the Lord, dance around this week. You don't have to just do that at Children's Church on Sunday morning. We can do that every day and worship the Lord through song, through our actions, through the way that we treat other people. I know you guys are going to do a great job job at that. Well, our CCF Kids answer this week is God can do impossible things. 
So I want you to go find one of your parents and say, hey, God can do impossible things. They're going to be learning about that too, whether they've already listened to the sermon um, that Pastor Aaron recorded this morning or whether they're going to listen to it later. But that's something you can remind each other of all week. Our God can do impossible things. Okay, if you want a snack, I don't have one for you, but ask your mom or dad if you would like to have one. And we're going to get our lesson today. We're going to pick back up with Sarah and Abraham. They're living in Canaan and it's been about 12 or 13 years since our story last week. And now Sarah and Abraham are trusting God. He's going to do what he said he was going to do and give them a baby together through Abraham and Sarah. And now they're about to get some special visitors. So we're going to watch this video and find out what happens. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Sarah. This is Sarah. Sarah was Abraham's wife. One day, as Abraham sat near the entrance of his tent, God appeared to him. Abraham looked up and three men stood before him. God promised Abraham that he and Sarah would someday have a son. In fact, God promised Abraham that he would have many children, oh. even more than the stars in the sky. Uh. Now, Sarah was very old when God made this promise. When she heard that God promised to give her a child, she laughed. The messenger of God stopped Sarah. He asked, is anything too hard for the Lord? Sarah chose to trust God, and she became pregnant, and she gave birth to a son. The son's name was Isaac. God's promises came true for Abraham and Sarah. Abraham became the father of many nations, and from his child came children, and from their children, more children, until Abraham's descendants were truly more numerous than the stars in the sky. Abraham and Sarah trusted God for the promise and believed that God was faithful. Wasn't that a cool story? After waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, God finally fulfilled his promise and he did it in his perfect timing. Abraham and Sarah were faithful and they were able to see God fulfill his promise to them. Okay guys, just like in normal CCF Kids class, we have some review questions. And since I can't see you right now, um, I would like you to add to that video where you're gonna do the Bible verse and answer some review questions for me. And then I have some life application questions as well. And so I'd love for you to make a little video answering these questions, send those to me. And just like with the Bible verse says, if you will send me a video of answering these questions, then you will also get an extra prize. So you actually have a chance to win two extra prizes this next Sunday when we meet together again. Okay, our review questions. Question number one, who came to visit Abraham? Question number two, what did they tell him would happen in a year? Question number three, why did Sarah laugh? Okay guys, I know that you guys are all gonna get the right answer and I can't wait to see that. Now we have our life application questions. And don't forget, these aren't necessarily right or wrong answers. I wanna hear your thoughts, your stories, and what you think about things. Question number one, have you ever laughed when you really shouldn't have? Does God just give us whatever we want just because he can? And question number three, how do we know what things please God? How do we know what to pray for, what he will fulfill? Okay guys, I can't wait to hear your answers and see your videos from your parents. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm gonna pray to close us, but I can't wait to see you guys next week.
God, thank you so much for each one of these amazing kids. God, whether they're home or when they go back to school or whether they're with their friends or whether they're in their room, wherever they are, God, I pray uh, that they are living in obedience to you. God, I pray that they are feeling your presence, that they know your deep love for them, your desire to be their, their friend forever. God, I pray that they seek you out and that they want to ask you for the things that go along with your will and what you want for their lives. God, I pray that they are able to show your love and kindness to everyone around them this week. And I pray that they feel those things back from you as well. We love you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, you guys, have a great week and hopefully see you in person next time.